they bring color and class to the catwalk, introducing new styles and trends. Burlesque beauty Dita Von Tees, ultimate style icon Kate Moss, refined Adrian Brody, style royalty Princess Mary, and Sienna Miller, the face of Bohemian Chic. Having reintroduced the art of burlesque, Dita Von Tees is not just your typical burlesque dancer, she's also one of the world's most gorgeous style icons. Dita has been into burlesque as long as she can remember, and it started with her love of movies and their perfectly groomed glamorous heroines like Betty Grable and Rita Hayworth. Working in a lingerie store as a teenager, she was surrounded by corsets and garters, which kindled her interest further. Next, she visited a strip club and was confused and disappointed with how unoriginal the other strippers' performances were. So Dita, giving stripping a go, created her own vintage-inspired look, with beehive hairstyle and elbow-length gloves, which were both confusing and fascinating to the clientele. Later, she became a fetish model and finally a burlesque star, which has catapulted her career and turned into one of fashion's most loved devotees and muses. She has an incredible sense of style, bringing a strong vintage feel and an absolutely stunning look, making her one of the best dressed stars to appear at fashion gatherings and red carpet events, where she introduces dramatic colors and classic styles to sometimes quite bland settings. She was the queen of retro glam at Macy's Passport Gala in 2007, an annual HIV AIDS fundraiser where she performed and looked picture perfect in her strapless grey gown. For the 2007 British Fashion Awards, she looked divine in a gold drape neck Marquesa dress and at the 2008 Cannes Film Festival, her pale complexion paired with the emerald green Christian Lacroix gown looked like a match made in heaven. She may be the queen of style, having many of her outfits custom made, and a lot of that is thanks to the close relationship she has with many of the world's top designers. She is a frequent front row guest at fashion shows for designers such as Dior, Louis Vuitton, Galliano, Valentino and Vivian Westwood, as well as sitting front row at Australian Fashion Week in Sydney. Having played a major role in reviving the burlesque phenomenon she loves so much, Dita, in 2006, released her book Burlesque and the Art of Tease, which brought more of burlesque and her own individual look into the mainstream. The book is part history of burlesque, part autobiography, and part picture portfolio of Dita's work, which, according to her, goes far beyond just working. But I think the message that I'm trying to get to girls is that there's more than one standard of beauty, and you don't just have to be rail thin and blonde and tan and, um, and wear a mini skirt and, and show a lot of skin to be, um, to be beautiful or, and appealing and sexy. There's other ways and, and the best, thing to, best, best way to find what that is for you is to think about what your best qualities are and play them up instead of trying to change yourself. The same year, she was also one of the unlikely and unusual makeup models in MAC Cosmetics' Viva Glam ad campaign, where she promoted the sale of Viva Glam lipsticks and lip glosses, where 100% of the proceeds went to HIV and AIDS programs. In 2008, the model, muse and burlesque artist launched new designs for underwear brand Wonderbra and did so in true burlesque style by perching on a large piece of lingerie in London's Covent Garden. She appeared wearing an elegant peach strapless gown cinched in at the waist to show off her trademark hourglass curves, immaculate makeup and glamorous waving hair, which is part of her vintage 40s look that she fed back into her collaboration with Wonderbra. She may have appeared in a cocktail glass, ridden a lipstick, slithered out of a compact and swung on a bra, but Dita Von Tees has taken the world by storm, looking more at home in beautiful vintage style dresses than anyone else in the entertainment scene. She's not only sexy and sophisticated, she's responsible for bringing back old fashioned styles on and off the stage that's made her into a style icon of today.
more than just a world-famous model, Kate Moss is a woman who wears what she wants and is known for starting trends that have turned her into one of the great style icons. Discovered by a modeling agency as a 14-year-old schoolgirl, Moss went on to become one of the most famous faces on the catwalk and has graced the covers of countless magazines, despite her anti-supermodel slender look and height that was shorter than most models who were popular at the time. But she is now more than just a model who is still in demand by most designers and fashion houses. She has a style of her own that has gone on to be imitated all over the world, not just by her loyal followers, but by other celebrities alike. Aside from her notorious high-profile relationships and party lifestyle, Moss has gained an iconic trend-setting status with her original styles and fashion sense, which has helped with her being in demand for many catwalk shows for Alexander McQueen, Versace and Galliano, and being a front-row guest at catwalk shows. She made the waif look popular, along with skinny jeans, mini dresses, and helped with the boho chic look, which combines bohemian and hippie influences, which was at its height during 2004-2005. As an international fashion icon, Moss has obtained many awards for her fashionable look, including from the Council of Fashion Designers of America, the Fashion Influence Award. In 2007, she went from model to fashion icon to real-life mannequin for the launch of her own clothing range at Topshop. The Kate Moss collection for Topshop promised to give every girl about town a glimpse into the wardrobe of the world's most elusive and admired supermodel, not to mention a chance to snatch up key elements of her rock and roll style. A special preview sale took place at London's Oxford Circus store, where Moss, along with store mannequins, appeared briefly posing in the shop window, wearing a floor-length red chiffon evening gown from the collection. Her appearance caused a frenzy, which then continued in store as hundreds of fashion fanatics queued for hours to be the first to get their hands on one of the most highly anticipated high street collections of the year. Items on sale included vests, leather jackets, skinny jeans, one-shoulder mini dresses and t-shirts with the letter K woven into the designs. The idea for a Kate Moss Topshop collection was born when Moss spoke casually to Philip Green, owner of Topshop's parent group Arcadia. The two struck a deal and started work on designing a collection that would have a unique selling power unrivaled by other high street brands. In 2007 also saw Moss join the celebrity perfume war by launching her own fragrance. Kate by Kate Moss is the result of a collaboration between Moss and perfume company Coty Incorporated. The cream of the world's fashion press were invited to a spectacular launch in Morocco, where she unveiled the new perfume and spoke about her inspiration behind the concept. And the style icon is not simply the face of the product, but had a hands-on role in the venture. Even after some rough times in the last few years, Moss has still managed to steal the show in some of her stunning outfits, making the paparazzi go wild and giving everybody in the fashion world something to talk about. And she provided the sparkle in a 1920s style flapper dress dripping with 60,000 Swarovski crystal beads in silver, grey and antique green at Swarovski Fashion Rocks Extravaganza, an event that brings together top designers with hit music makers. Although she has a successful modelling career, it seems that it's her off-duty fashion sense that appeals to most. From sophisticated pantsuits to long elegant dresses to the grungy rock and roll look, Kate Moss has certainly proved to everyone that she definitely has style. Oozing sex appeal, sophistication and charm is Academy Award winning actor Adrian Brody, whose red carpet looks have made him one of the elite when it comes to style. Brody gained worldwide attention after receiving the Best Actor Award at the Academy Awards for Roman Polanski's 2002 film The Pianist. His career then catapulted him into a string of successful films and dramatic roles, giving him plenty of media attention. 
However, it's not just his film career that has seen him in the spotlight. He has also been noticed for his classy and refined style of dress while strutting the red carpet and attending fashion shows. Standing at just over six feet tall and with his scrawny frame, which runs in the family, Brody is not what you'd call your typical Hollywood hunk, although his dark features and sense of style have clearly thrown that out the window and made him one of the most attractive leading men in showbiz. His taste in clothing and style has seen him be awarded by GQ at the Man of the Year Awards and be named Best Dressed Man in America by Esquire, and he seems to pull off the handsome suit-wearing type with ease. He's paired vintage with modern, and no matter who the designer, he carries the look like a professional. While he more commonly appears at events sporting mostly black, he occasionally mixes things up a little by wearing colours and suits that are a little less traditional. He's been known to dress in velvet and flannel suits, and while attending the Venice Film Festival, he found the perfect outfit for the occasion and location. He posed for photographers and fans while wearing an off-white suit with a white shirt. Wearing a suit and tie isn't something you see very often on Brody. However, when he does wear them, whether it's with an all-matching color suit or mixing colors, he gives them a modern and classy look. But it's pretty safe to say that Brody is much more comfortable with the unbuttoned shirt look, although he will quite often complete this look with the help from an ascot or scarf tucked into the shirt, often making his outfit look quite formal. He's even been known to pull off the look of wearing his tie underneath his unbuttoned tuxedo shirt. Brody's outfits are very casual and basic. However, he manages to dress them up with his own sense of style and knack for finding the right accessories to go with the right suit. His unique look is helped along by his vintage-inspired extras, such as fedoras and driver's caps, skinny ties, gloves and suspenders. He has teamed up with suit maker Ermenegil Duzenya and become their spokesman, often wearing their modern, sharp-looking and well-tailored suits, even hand-picking one to wear to the Council of Fashion Designers of America Awards when he was chosen to present the Menswear Designer of the Year. And it only seemed fitting that he present the award as they are seen as the Oscars of the fashion industry. He actually formed his relationship with the men's clothing company before his acting career really took off and appeared in a number of their campaigns. But since becoming one of Hollywood's top actors, Brody has managed to keep up his trendy look and appearance, often seen wearing top-of-the-range designer clothes such as Versace. He has the right look and the confidence to make any outfit work, whether it's casual or formal. And that's what's made him one of the most stylish men of today and a fashion role model for any man. She's become known as the princess of style and her elegance is admired on both sides of the continent. Crown Princess Mary of Denmark is an international style icon. The cool and slightly reserved style that has become her fashion trademark has set this royal apart from her British counterparts. Her clean-cut classic look has seen her become a favorite with fashion critics thanks to a refined sense for detail and femininity. After meeting and falling in love with Danish Crown Prince Frederick in Sydney during the Olympic Games in 2000, the couple conducted a long-distance relationship by phone and email. She moved to Denmark in 2002 before becoming engaged the next year. The couple exchanged vows before hundreds of family members, European and Asian royals and other guests inside Our Lady's Church in central Copenhagen in 2004. 
Princess Mary walked down the aisle in a simple but sophisticated gown that combined both her Australian heritage and the history of the family she was joining. Her exquisite ivory gown, constructed of Duchess satin, was created by Danish designer U Frank, and her veil of Irish lace was first used by Crown Princess Margaret of Sweden in 1905. She worked closely with Frank on the gown, which had an iridescent sheen which captured the lights inside the cathedral, three-quarter sleeves, and a train bordered in the finest Chantilly lace from France. She wore a diamond tiara given to her by Denmark's Queen Marguerite and Prince Henrik, and her unique bouquet consisted of Australian eucalyptus and a mixture of white roses, a touching tribute to her homeland. Her husband, Crown Prince Frederick, is not short on style either. Arriving with his brother, Prince Joachim, he wed Mary in full military colors, wearing the formal Danish naval uniform with a light blue sash and numerous medals on his chest. The prince was visibly moved by the occasion, wiping away tears as he smiled and waited for his bride. Later, the newlyweds appeared on the balcony of the Amalienborg Palace before a cheering crowd. It appeared a style icon had been created, with brides-to-be all over the world clamoring to find a dress like that of the Danish princess. In 2005, the couple celebrated the birth of their first child, Prince Christian, before Princess Isabella came along in 2007. The infant princess is third in line to the Danish throne after her father and older brother. A regular at Danish fashion shows, Princess Mary is also an active patron of the country's fashion industry. Her classic style has undoubtedly promoted Danish designs across the world, and fashion houses have claimed her sense of style has had an enormous effect on Danish street fashion. The Australian-born princess is a patron of the International Copenhagen Fashion Fair and is heavily involved in organizing the fashion extravaganza. She liaises with designers to ensure the latest trends are on display at the shows. A model royal, simple but chic, seem to be the key elements of the princess's ensembles as she embarks on official affairs. Her classic yet modern taste, leaning toward well-cut suits, has royal watches drawing comparisons to fellow style icons Grace Kelly, Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis and Audrey Hepburn. As one of royalty's newest style setters, Crown Princess Mary's outfits always feature an individual twist, and her style has evolved into one fit for a princess. In a relatively short period of time, the beautiful Sienna Miller has established herself not only as a talented actress, but also as an edgy style icon. Always willing to take a red carpet risk, the boho beauty shakes up the scene with her unique street style and high fashion Hollywood gowns. One of England's most intriguing young talents, Miller is an accomplished actress and model who first rose to fame in 2004 with roles in the romantic comedy Alfie and the thriller Layer Cake. Her ascension was further aided by her very public relationship with Jude Law, which ended in 2006. Adored in fashion circles for her bohemian chic style, Miller was awarded the Elle Style Icon Award in 2009 for her fashion-forward sense of elegance. She accepted the award in a ruffle dress designed by close friend Matthew Williamson, topped off with a Louis Vuitton feather-shouldered blazer. It wasn't the first time she'd won awards for her charmingly thrown-together sense of style, and we're sure it won't be the last. I would say Sienna Miller. She's always my favourite, most stylish girl. Well, I always love the way Sienna Miller dresses, simply because she's always an individual. She doesn't really follow that kind of starlet clone way of dressing. And she's got her own personality.
She lent her style sense to people like us when she parlayed her fashion influence into her own line 2812 with her designer sister Savannah. Launched in 2007, the two shared their quirky trend-setting tastes via an 80-piece ready-to-wear collection. The clothes seem a combination of the two sisters, leather jackets, skin-tight dresses with a boho flair for Sienna mixed with crystal-embellished cashmere, fine tailoring and florals for Savannah. Miller admitted that the fashion venture is just two sisters playing dress-up with someone else's money. Millions of women worldwide consider Miller to be a fashion genius, but the actress says she gets her fashion inspiration from past generations. Having played 60s fashion icon Edie Sedgwick in Factory Girl, it's no secret that Miller considers Andy Warhol's muse one of her own style icons. The fashion it girl likes to take risks and doesn't always choose conventional looks on the red carpet. At the UK premiere of her film The Edge of Love, she sashayed along in a black tassel dress by Jasmine Demilo, topped with a vintage bowler hat. While equally comfortable in either long gowns or cocktail dresses, Miller likes to choose clothes that have an effect. One of the secrets to keeping the red carpet look her own? While wearing ethereal couture gowns, she keeps her hair slightly messy and never looks too polished. Miller is also a big fan of accessories and often layers long tangles of costume jewelry with eye-catching earrings over her red carpet gowns. While she wasn't nominated, all eyes were on the British beauty at the 2007 BAFTA Awards when she wore a stunning vintage Emmanuel Ungaro backless gown. Miller, at the ceremony to present the Best Supporting Actor Award, topped off her outfit with diamond drop earrings by Adler. Having been seen on the red carpet in an array of designers who were only too happy to dress the gorgeous star, the fashion princess doesn't discriminate. Louis Vuitton, Burberry, Marquesa and Dior have all been seen adorning the graceful star at various film premieres. From boho chic to sultry to eclectic to girly, Sienna Miller has cultivated a signature status as one of the fashion world's most celebrated style icons, and it seems there is no style out there she won't try.